Coming up in the next episode of Voice of Care, I'm joined by Toby Lewis, CEO of Rotherham, Doncaster and South Humber NHS Foundation Trust, to talk about the challenges facing the NHS and the promise and provisions of the NHS long-term workforce plan. We need to recognise it's a shifting position, isn't it? Mm. What what we know about um, once in a century events or, 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 or major things like a pandemic is it alters the calculus that we make as individuals or in families for our relationship with with work. Um, so at Art Ash we've got a very extensive well-being offer, very strong restorative supervision culture, uh, but I think where we've got to make further progress and where the NHS generally has is really how we support people to work flexibly. Mm. Um, you know, uh, th- there's an obvious point around retirement patterns, but there's also a point about people as they go through their life they raise family, they have caring responsibilities. 40% of the people who work in Ardash have carer responsibilities. Are we really as an NHS yet uh, geared up to support people who might uh, need a little bit of time here, there, may not always be able to be themselves, their best self at work because of things that are going on outside of work. So we need to get a package that is compassionate in terms of line management around those individuals. Of course, part of the burnout is where you started earlier, which is if I'm working with people who I don't know, Mm. who I don't recognize, then my sense of stress and strain is going to be different. So join me, Sahel Mirza, with Toby Lewis on the next episode of Voices of Care.